Hello beautiful souls, it is day 20 of my 30 day video challenge and I'm coming to you from Mexico on this beautiful day, it's just been raining I'm at my the Orange Hotel and uh, yeah it's good, it's good, it's nice, the temperature's cool, I'm very happy Today in this video I wanted to talk a bit about my experiences of the last 5 months in terms of why I came to Mexico and what I've learned. So it was about five months ago that I uh, had some inspiration to come to Mexico with the intention of going over to the United States to meet up with a, a lady friend. And it, that happened. We went, I, I went, I met up with them. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say about my own experience with attachment, I suppose, because during the past like three, almost four years now, I had been through these experiences, very intense relationship experiences with lots of mirroring, almost that kind of like twin flame kind of strength of mirroring. Um, not to put a label on it or anything, but it just was what it was. It was very strong and I emotionally had my ass handed to me which was exactly what I needed for that time in my life and I came out the other end much more healed and integrated and solid and well-rounded but I also came out really realizing what I wanted inside of a relationship and so it wasn't so long after that that in 2020 Towards the end of last year, I, I came out of this multi-year cycle and I was speaking to one of my mentors who also happens to be a psychic and a channeler and I've always given a lot of value and weight to uh, what he has to say and the kind of predictions that he has put forth and he said that he saw me getting engaged soon and uh, I got excited about this, I was like, wow. Yeah, I can, I can see that and I can feel that. Um, and so I then went along for months, just in myself, just excited, like, ooh, who could it be? When is this gonna happen? And building up all of this expectation. All of this expectation around a specific outcome. This expectation just led to me kind of jumping headfirst into a feeling. I, there was someone who reached out to me, this lady, and asked me if I was still coming to, to meet up with her, and it just so happened to be the same day that she was breaking up with her existing partner. And I got, I felt this amazing sensation in my chest. It was like this kind of like bubbly feeling going on. And I was like, wow, this is, this was the feeling I've been waiting for. Surely this is the person I meant to go and get engaged to and all of this stuff and got very excited. And uh, I just thought, oh, this must be it. I'm, this must be meant to be. And I just got myself far too excited and just got way too ahead of myself not realizing, hey, this person is in this kind of like rebound energy. They've just come out of a relationship that exact same day and now I'm already thinking about making plans to come and meet up with them. And so I did. I went and met up with them and my intention was just to be friends. You know, this person would have needed a long time of healing. I know personally at this point I'd already been out of a relationship for almost a year and so I was I was ready. Personally I was ready. I'd done a lot of healing, a lot of time to myself, which was exactly what I needed, but still things just unfolded and I ended up in Mexico shortly after this message was sent to me. And I just pushed myself into that. I just it just it was a co-creation of course it's never just one person but i showed up 
as a friend, but at this time when I finally arrived in the United States, I had, I had feelings. And you know, men usually catch feelings first, like that's naturally quite normal. And yeah, my feelings were there and they were present. And I just rushed the gun because this person wasn't ready. I went in too quick and led, I led the charge. And the other person, she just, she just, she had her own expectations of me and I had my own expectations ultimately, even though I tried to do my best to just be a friend. So really the point I want to talk about here is that expectations really can ruin things in so many ways. They can, they can set us up for some real growthful experiences. But really the lesson as well that I'd learned was it was almost like a pattern I had witnessed within myself. When I look back, it was actually three times, no, four times in a row of, since the start of 2018, actually, four times in a row that I'd actually had some kind of interaction with a woman four different women during this time was what it was. Who had just come out of a relationship. And there's me kind of like being the rebound essentially. And there, you know, it's not entirely I, I take full responsibility for the fact that I should have just like put a pin in this these these connections as soon as they started and just been like hey like I can be here as your friend but um, I can't really pursue this with you right now because you've just come out of a relationship if I were you I would spend a good few months to half a year to maybe a year or more healing yourself but I didn't do that. I didn't stand in that energy and suggest that to them and put a pin in the relationship. I was, instead I built up this kind of attachment inside myself towards these, these women. Well, three of the women, one of them was a different story, but building up this attachment to them because I had already started developing feelings. And then basically being afraid of losing them, essentially. It's like I needed to be in that kind of energy of like, I will be your friend until we both feel like family to each other and then perhaps we can make it official then. Not just, oh, you've just come out of a relationship. Oh, now I've got feelings for you because we're talking a lot. And, oh, do you want to be with me kind of thing? So that's where I needed to have taken responsibility. Seeing that these people had just come out of a relationship and they wanted connection. They couldn't stand being out of a relationship, which, I'm not being sexist, but it seems to be... No, it's both, for both men and women. Both men and women rebound after their relationships. And me just standing in that energy and just being like, hey, these people just need a friend right now, not another relationship. And letting myself not get too attached. Don't be that rebound guy. Don't be the one who's there to pick up the pieces. I need to be that person to, if I want to be in a long-term relationship at this point in my life, I've realized this has been my lesson from the past almost four years. I need to build such a strong bond between myself and another that we're so good friends that we actually feel like family to each other. 
and then something long term will birth of that naturally rather than just trying to jump into something because oh I'm afraid that oh if you've rebounded to me like this after you just broke up with this person oh that that means I it then made me afraid of like oh they, these women like they've just rebounded to me who else are they rebounding to like maybe they could just go off with somebody else um and just repeat their own patterns without giving without giving them themselves adequate time to heal and that was my own fear was like what if I get rejected what if they decide to go off with someone else I and mean, that kind of situation just bred it so that's my lesson Hmm. The next person I'm in a relationship with is going to be for the long haul. And we're going to be so solid in our foundation. So solid. Going to build a house. But a house is only as good as its foundations. So this was the lesson I really just wanted to share today. I'm done. And this is the thing, I, I can see the pattern now. I can see the cycle, the, the repetitive back and forth motion. And yeah, I know that the relationship I enter into will be pure. I'll be coming into it with no baggage like of other people I'm texting and lingering onto in that way. And the, the person I am a partner to as well, they won't have any baggage that they're lingering onto. It will just be like a fresh start, a blank slate, where I don't have to be an agony aunt either. We both, we both just come together and we're able to enjoy each other and have fun and laugh about things and and then later on then we can talk about the difficulties and the, the emotional struggles we may then go through and the triggering times we experience together and all of the highs and all of the lows that's natural that's what a relationship is supposed to be like But as for me, it's lesson learned. And I'm really, really grateful for the past few years. And those women that have shown me that not everybody takes responsibility for themselves and their own healing after they come out of a relationship. Many people will just jump into the next best thing that looks good to them or, or that they can just feel that connection and that safety again. Personally, I've never been like that. If I've come out of a relationship, I take the time to heal. <laughs> so I just have to set that boundary for myself towards others. Don't be that rebound for others. Be a friend. But even friendship in that way can take up space, especially when it's... Especially when there's feelings involved. So there we go. Those are my lessons around this. Don't let yourself get too attached to people who are emotionally unavailable or who still need to go through a healing process with their past relationships. It's not fair on you, and it's not fair on them. I love myself so much at this point. I'm just not in an arrogant way at all. The love I feel for myself and the love that I feel for everybody else has grown through these years massively because of these exact trials and tribulations. And of course, the beautiful energies that are upon us coming from the sun 
plus being in this major energetic portal known as Tulum in Mexico. Thank you for watching. From my heart to your heart, much love.